Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm here with a very quick video to show you how to get ink or other stains off dollar bills. Um, this is a quick method that I found that works quite well for water-based things, so stuff like ink, um, coffee stains, for example, tea stains. In theory, you could probably use this for a variety of things. It's just something that seems to do the trick. Um, here is a worn out and ink stained um, one dollar bill here. This is not one that I've just deliberately done this to. It's um, obviously very beaten up. It's got tears all over the place. And as you can see, it's very yellow. This is highlighter ink that's done this. Again, here's the back. And the agent we are going to use to clean this is a dishwasher tablet. So what you're gonna to want to do is get yourself a container like this one, it's just a little uh, cheap Tupperware one that probably came with a takeaway or something. Um, make sure it is clean, because you don't want more stains to go in, although to be honest, it doesn't really matter, seeing as how the white part of this is the bit that I believe does the work. These, of course, are detergent. This is a Finnish um, Quantum, I think is the name. Finnish Quantum is a brand or it's something like that. It's a Finnish dishwasher tablet, but other tablets are available and will probably do the same thing. This is just the one that I think works. It can be found in any supermarket here in the UK. If you're in the US, simply use what alternative you have. You're going to need hot or boiling water. Boiling water is preferred because it will do um, the job a bit faster. But for this one, patience is a good thing to do. So what we are going to do is literally just take it, put it in the container, doesn't matter if it doesn't uh, lie flat because you'll be drying it out anyway at the end of this. You take the dishwasher tablet, place it inside obviously, or you can just drop it in afterwards, and then you just pour water on the thing. So you're just going to want to fill it, not all the way, but enough that you know it can cover the thing quite evenly, just like that. I'm just going to put this here while I go and put the kettle back, one second. Now I recommend breaking up the tablet with a spoon or just whatever method you use. Just make sure that you get it quite evenly just dissolved. Um, of course the heat in the water will dissolve the vinyl so don't worry about any residue on it. And you can see that right away already it's actually starting to have an effect. So you can see that's taken off a good chunk of the ink. But for this one, you really, there is no harm in just leaving it for a while. Um, if you have to, leave it overnight. If you want to, leave it overnight or leave it for a few hours or however long it takes. Just let the water go cold, completely cold. And then you're just going to want to um, take it out and dry it as you would normally. So we're gonna leave that to one hand here. We have another one here, which previously was stained by coffee, but um, I, at the moment it's looking quite good. As you can see here, there it is. It's not perfect, there is still some staining, but that could be solved by putting this back in. Again, this is another very worn out one that I just found at a Coinstar of all places that had been shoved in the slot there and just left by someone who obviously didn't want to exchange it. So there you go. So when you are done with this, make sure it's obviously if you want to weigh it down, you can. Either way, it's it's pretty good like this. So what you then want to do to just leave this is seal it, but then you want to vent the steam. So you just lift it like that and pop it like that. And there you go. So that should allow the steam to escape and not sort of expand or whatever or fill sort of the container with condensation. And that's really all there is to it. When that's done, you simply take it out and dry it with whatever your preferred method is, and that should take the ink off. So with that being said, that really is where this video ends. Um, I'm, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed this quick little experiment, I guess. Banknote abuse, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm RCT3Crashes100, and I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.